Welcome back to another monthly rundown. As you can see, we have a new addition to the channel. This goblin lady is my virtual avatar. I'm going to try it out, see how it feels, see if I can get the software to agree with me. As you can see, I have some slight graphical issues, but it's more fun than just looking at my desktop. So let's try it out, see how it feels. Um, in this video, I skipped the online finds part because it's boring. Okay, it's just boring. But we will have a flip through of the content creator bullet journal in the end. Maybe some will like it, maybe some won't. If you don't like it, just skip the end. I won't even know, so... <laughs> anyway, April is a rough month, but now it's almost over. It's gonna be May. Welcome to my video. In April, I finished two books. I finished Deep Work by Cal Newport that I've been reading for a while. I think I started reading it in January. And I also finished um, Piranesi by Susanna Clark. That was a paper book. I haven't read a paper book <laughs> for a while. So it took some extra time. Couldn't just read uh, on the go, so to speak. I thought Deep Work had some really good ideas, but I don't think I was the intended audience for this book. The philosophy itself, though, is a good one. My basic summary on how I could take some lessons from this book would be that in whatever you do, be intentional. I don't have the time in a day to focus several hours on one thing, but I can try and be better to intentionally choose a task and then try uh, to only focus on that task. I'm one of those people that believe that multitasking has its place, if done with purpose and mindfulness. But I do understand the science and I know that if something is cognitively taxing, you need to focus only on that task. So in that regard, I think deep work can sort of motivate you to stay um, focused on the task at hand. And uh, I mean, I wish I, I could spend like three hours a day just focusing on one thing, but for most people, it's not feasible. But all in all, I would say that it's a good book to read. And uh, Piranesi, on the other hand, was just wonderful. It was like it was written for me. Um, I saw on Goodreads that some reviewers felt cheated. Um, they felt like they read all these descriptions of halls and statues for, for nothing, basically. But I don't agree. Or rather, I didn't have that experience. I believe that all these descriptions of the house and its halls, I think it was a big part of the dreamlike effect of the book. I don't want to spoil the book here, but I can say that I felt like I was taking on a beautiful journey. And this book was a refuge for me, and I think I'm going to read it again at least once. When it comes to my workflow, I finally caved and got a toggle track account. I also added the plugin uh, in Obsidian. And uh, what can I say? I love it and I hate it. I found it easier to set up than other types of time management programs I've used. And once you have the projects you need, I found it very easy to add tasks within that project. Uh, it's fun to see where you spend your time, but it gave me a clearer view um, on how little time I have each day. Um, or rather, how little continuous and cohesive time I have. Seeing my graph really showed me why I feel so fragmented. And here is how I spend my time. I have a note and I add a toggle graph in it. It has an easy... in the plugin, it shows you how to do it. Other than this graph, my obsidian is basically the same. Right now, I'm just sort of... I'm, I'm just sort of using it. As you saw in my 
last video I changed my theme but other than that and the toggle plugin I've just been writing reading and processing I've I've been expanding my use of log sec a bit though it's still journaling um, but I've been more free with linking names and events now and uh, also just the kind of information I put there uh, I write more uh, like a log now it's still feelings but um, it's a bit more about my thought process so some notes uh, I have actually been moving to obsidian because they've, they've expanded that I felt like they actually can move to my vault I'm intrigued by the new um, the, the whiteboard feature and I will make a video about that maybe next week or the week after that hopefully so here we are back again live action but to celebrate my new goblin avatar I thought we should add a small anime lady to my new bullet journal well it's not that new anymore I've been using it for two three almost four weeks now uh, it's as I said in my bullet journal video this is just for content creation this time I'm not uh, using it for daily life it's just for YouTube and my blog I mentioned in my uh, bullet journal video that I also had Instagram but after a month with nothing I decided to not put any energy uh, there right now but so here's my bullet journal as it looks right now you saw me set this up I changed uh, some things in the blog uh, other than that it's just basically the same as when I set it up my stats are of course filled in almost entirely as you can see the the blog stats have not been filled in I felt like YouTube demanded more of my energy the blog right now is something that I'm working on I love writing so I write and I post every week but I'm not as uh, I'm I guess you could say aggressive uh, in how I run my blog as how I run this YouTube channel uh, the goals I did get to 5,000 views I did post at least one community post the other ones not so much I think I never missed a post day but since April is not entirely over yet I'm not sure so but I bet I'll be able to cross this out and other than that so far it's mostly just entries about what I want to get done uh, as you can see I've managed to get almost everything done uh, all, all of my days this is the key for moving something forward so I had probably been moving this to another day but so far this is just how it looks it's just being used like the obsidian vault it's nothing fancy yet it's just this is what I want to get done and did I get them down? Yeah, cross them out if I didn't move them forward. My system is that every day I fill in everything I want to get done, whether it's feasible or not, whether I think I'll get to it or not. Why is this not doing what I want? I just put everything here and I cross out the things I do get done and I move forward the things I didn't get done. Uh, this way I don't lose any ideas I have and I get a clear view about what I can get done during a day uh, for my keys I have no uh, proper key key since I've been doing this for years I don't have a list of, on my keys so it's just a dot for things that um, I want to do if I get them done I cross them out like this if I don't get them done I move them forward if I have 
uh, if I want to make a note, I do a dash. And I have, this should have been a dash and not uh, a, a big circle. Big circles are for events like this. I know um, I need to post and I know I always post. So I just do, do like this to show future me that I did have a post that day. But it's not something that I see as a to-do. It's more of a, a ta-da. A ta done. <laughs> so, so far, nothing much special. It's just a used bullet journal. I won't do a May setup because my May, my May setup would be either this or just a list of um, the days. And other than that, it, it, it will be the same. But I will have a May flip through um to see what i got done and see what i had on my mind <laughs>